Okay, so in this tension review question, uh, we're looking at a connected object system, so it's also strongly connected, of course, to Newton's laws, even though the title is tension. Um, so, so, yeah, it's a connected object system, but this time the rope has mass, um, so we're going to have to carefully look at uh, that particular situation. So we've got two blocks A and B, tied together with a rope of mass 1 kg. So block A has a mass of 5 kgs, let me just note that here. And then uh, the block B has a mass of 3 kgs. And the rope has a mass of 1 kg. And block B has been pushed at a constant horizontal force of 4.5 newtons. And we're going to assume there's no friction between the blocks and the table. And the blocks are, are have already been moving for a while at the instance shown. So if we think about the system of uh, A or block A, the rope, and B. So the system, let's say A or B, has a mass of uh, so 5 and 1 is 6, and 6 and 3 is 9 kgs. If we draw a free body diagram for that particular system, you think that this, there's a weight force on the system by the earth, there's a normal force on the system by the table, there's no friction force, and then there is a force on that system by the hand. And that's equivalent to the net force because the, the normal force will cancel or in a sense be equal in magnitude to the weight force so the sum of the normal and the weight will be zero which leaves us only with the hand force. So the F net on the system is equal to the F on the system of the hand which we're told is four and a half uh, newtons. This is also equal to the mass of the system times A of the system, so we can figure out the acceleration of the system. We're taking that F net and the system divided by the mass of the system. So that's uh, four and a half newtons divided by nine kgs. So the acceleration of the system is 0.5 meters per second squared, so half a meter per second squared. And that would be essential to figure out what is the tension force on the rope by block B and the tension force on the rope by block A. So if we consider the um, free wire diagram for block B, maybe I'll use the space here. Block B would have a, again, a weight force on B by the earth a normal force on B by the table um, there would be a, a force on B by the hand and it's technically probably a normal force assume it's pushing horizontally and for this question we're going to have to make an assumption that the, this tension force is referring to the horizontal component um, because we we don't know exactly the angle, um, so we're sort of the, uh, the question should sort of be updated to what is the horizontal component of the tension force on the rope by block B. Um, so if I assume that this is this is what we're trying to solve for here is the tension uh, on B by the rope, technically in the x direction. So we can write an equation for um, FBH, so the net, or the net, you know, right in the second equation for block B, so I know the net force on B would be equal to FBH minus the tension on B by the rope in the x direction equals the mass of B times A, and uh, we're trying to solve for this tension force on B by the rope in the x direction. So I can write that the tension force on B, on B by the rope in the x direction will be equal to FBH minus MBA. So we know this is four and a half uh, newtons minus the mass of B, which is three kilograms. 
and the acceleration we discovered up earlier, acceleration of the system, which means every part of the system has the same acceleration, is a half, so four and a half, and minus three times 0.5, three times 0.5 is 1.5, so 4.5 minus 1.5 is three newtons. So the X component of the tension uh, by the rope on block B would be equal to three newtons. Again, the exact tension you'd have to know. You'd have to know the angle uh, that the rope is sort of sagging. But uh, we're going to ignore that small detail. Okay. And the second question: What is the tension uh, force in the rope by block uh, on the rope by block A? So I guess. Oh, and I guess uh, to make just a slight update here. So the question is asked: What is the tension force on the rope by block B? So the tension force on the rope by block B has the same magnitude as the tension force on block B by the rope. So technically what I've found here is the tension force on block B by the rope. But uh, by Newton's third law, just to give that update, the tension force on the block by the rope in the X direction has the same magnitude as the tension force on the rope by block B in the X direction by Newton's third law. So I'm technically finding uh, these forces by considering forces on the blocks rather than the force on the rope. And um, if we started with the rope initially, it would have been uh, impossible because we would have too many unknowns. Uh, we know that the net force on the rope needs to be one times 0 0.5, so 0 0.5. And um, but we'd have to first figure out what is going on at the, on the blocks to figure out what's going on in the rope. Okay, so to move on to the second question, and I'll use this space down here. Okay. Alright, so the free bar diagram for block A is a little simpler than, than block B. And um so you just have the normal force on block A by the table. There is a weight force on block A by the earth. And there is a tension force on block A by the rope in X direction. It's technically down to the right. But to solve for these te tension forces, we're sort of ignoring uh, the Y components. So we can again see that um, if we ignore the small Y component of the tension, um, the normal will cancel out with the with the weight force, so we're just looking for the x component of the tension force. So for block A, the F net on block A would be equal to the tension on A by the rope in the x direction, which is the mass of block A times the acceleration of block A. So the tension on A by the rope in the x is equal to 5 kgs times uh, 0.5 meters per second squared, which is 2.5 newtons. And again, there could be multiple ways to solve for that 2.5 newtons. As I mentioned earlier, um, we know that the force that B exerts on the rope is 3 newtons. The net force, I guess in the horizontal direction, the net force on the rope needs to be half a newton. So the, the free body diagram for the rope, which is a horizontal component of tension of 3 newtons to the right, and we need a net force of 0.5, then A has to pull back the rope with 2.5 newtons. So if, and again, the, the tension force on A by the rope and the X is equivalent in magnitude to the tension force on the rope by block A in the expression of Newton's torque law. So the answers here are 3.5 Newtons, sorry, uh, 3 Newtons, and 2.5 Newtons. So again, for, again, highlighting that a rope that has a mass, that's not massless, the tension on either end of the rope is not uh, the same. So for ropes that have mass, the tension force is not uh, um, transmitted undiminished. There are different tension forces that we have to take into account the actual weight of the 
uh, rope itself and in order for a rope to accelerate that has mass it must have a net force so the force at either end of the rope cannot be the same if the um, rope is accelerating in this example again we've sort of ignored um, the, the vertical components we're just considering the uh, horizontal components uh, for this problem